This is a video on how I fabricated a rock column for the California Pizza Corporation out of LA. This project was to cover a concrete column in their offices and was on the fifth floor of the building. I fabricated this project in my shop in Oregon, which you see here on the floor. I made the column with 12 interlocking rock panels to be able to complete the on-site installation in just one day, which was all the time they would allow me for the complete installation. With this clip, I thought I'd show you how strong and well-built this column really was by climbing up and out of it. Um, the 12 interlocking panels are bolted together and are virtually one complete column in this picture. The sole reason for this column at CPK was to display what they called a Rock Award for specifically recognized employees. The Rock Award had nothing to do with Rock, it was just an acronym for the award which just happened to spell out the word of Rock. I made 48 removable award rocks, 24 with no plaque cut out, and 24 with cutouts for the plaques to be installed as they were needed, which was a, about a five-year plan. At any rate, in this picture, you can see where I have in red the rocks that don't have the cutouts, and they're removable for when they do put the rock that has the plaque cut out that they can put a plaque for the specific employee. In this clip, I'm referring to the four wooden jigs that are placed on the mocked up column that's actually to represent the real size of the concrete column that's being covered at CPK. The two boxes represent the white filing cabinets that will be installed against my rock column when the installation is complete there at CPK. The two diagonal lines, this yellow one on the left and the red one on the right, represent the the actual two panels that we have already picked out that we held up there and, and we made a jig that marks the bottom of them. So we're going to build this particular first level up to those diagonal wood jigs. That represents the next level. So I just needed to know where I was going to and that's what I've done with the wooden jigs. Now here at this juncture we've got you know about 12 different individual pieces that are all wired together and we're going to you know, they're blowing it out with the air right now. They're about to wash it down, and we're going to mud the inside seams to lock it all together and then texture the outside little details, you know, where the, where the panels come together. But this first layer is actually four corners that interlock together to make this section. So the first section has four pieces. The second, second section is going to have four pieces. And the third section will have four pieces. That's the 12 pieces in total that make this column. But right now, we're just about to seam this first level then we'll remove the wooden jigs and you'll see us go up with the second level here in this clip we've set the first panel on the second level keep in mind that there is a top of the lower section that has a ledge or a flange all the way around the top so the second section will be able to made with a bottom flange that the two will then become bolted together for stability the second level will be made into four interlocking corner sections that are bolted together which is the very same way that the first level was made four interlocking corners that are bolted together just a quick drawing here. The rectangle in the center is the actual concrete column at uh, CPK. The four corner column pieces that uh, make each level. Each level is the same in the sense that it has four pieces. Each piece is different, but it all bolts together. And this is just a simple drawing to articulate that. I'm just wondering if this is going to straight the bottom. All right, straight in. Keep in mind that both of those upper panels were made like this one where there's a seam already in the in the uh, panel that's flanged bolted together that's the left side's going to be a corner the right side's going to be a corner and that's how we've made these Third panel installed now, and it already has a flange in the middle of that panel that's naturally occurring as a fracture in the panels. That's where we segmented it. Okay, second section done, ready for mud. And then we're working on the third section, which we're just hanging the panels for this one. Okay, the third section's formed and ready to mud, and uh, we've also started, as you can see, with those wooden forms on the uh, second level, we're starting to form the award rocks that we're going to make in place so they fit.
right hand of God, who also make us intercession for us. Okay, third level, all detailed, and uh, all the award rocks have been removed. There's the back, and then this is the front. Again, all award rocks have been removed. All right, we're just showing there are 48 rocks. 24 of them have no plaque. Then they have an identical counterpart that has a plaque. So they've got the non-plaque ones installed as they present two awards. They get the two new rocks out with the plaques, replacing the ones without the plaques. And that allows them to endlessly continue with this process of giving an award out to their employees. This clip, we're just showing that the rock is stained and the award rocks are in. This is the back section and then the front section, it's all stained. And I'm pulling out one of the non-plaque rocks, Sheck putting in one of the plaque rocks that's identical to the former. In this clip, I'm just showing you what we constructed as an easy lift. We made it to where it could be taken apart, put back together once we got it up the service elevator up to the fifth floor. We put it back together to lift this second section in place. And it's a five foot piece, four of them all about five foot tall and to lift it up about four foot tall is a little bit of a challenge. So I made the easy lift, which has an electric winch on it to do that on site very easily. In this clip, we have loaded the first section of the column onto the trailer. The four corners are all bolted together and they're on the right side of the trailer. On the left side of the trailer is the second section and the four corners again are all bolted together for safe transport. Here we are just arriving at the CPK offices in Los Angeles. You can see that the top section is in the back of the pickup where the first and second sections are there on the, on the trailer. And here we're at the underground parking where we're unloading everything and just getting it up the service elevator there on the right. And in this clip, I'm just starting to put the four corners together that form the first section, and we're going to do the installation. Alright, we got the last uh, section up, put the following cabinets back and uh, he's just touching up a couple of scuffs with a little touch up paint and we're heading back to Oregon, another 15 hour drive. It took us a total, but well, we got in the building about 8.30 and it's now quarter till 5. It took us longer to get the pieces upstairs, 5th story by a service elevator, going down long hallways. And then uh, that took us more time to get the scaffolding up here, the ladders, the tools, and the supplies, and the pieces than it actually took us to install it. But that's the way it goes. So looking good.